Joining us this morning in a first on CNBC interview is Cleveland Cliff CEO Lorenzo Gonsalves. It's great to have you back. I, I got to ask why the auto end market, and it's not just uh, companies like yours, it's uh, semiconductors as well. Why is the end market getting so much attention? I don't know. Good morning. Nice to see you again. Uh, we, are, we can only uh, report on our own thing, and uh, we continue to see the market, uh, uh, the main market for us, particularly automotive, performing extremely well. Uh, demand continues to be great. We are selling more uh, tons and at a higher prices to the automotive market. The consumer continues to buy cars. So everything is, looks good in real world, but you, I just learned that we can have a recession with uh, low unemployment. So <laughs> yeah. keep learning stuff every day. <laughs> it's, it's amazing things you learn as a viewer. Um, is, is the auto end market largely about being uh, about, about prices as we're inventory constrained, or is it more about the transition to EVs and how that changes the metallurgy of the automobile? Uh, it's both. It's both. Uh, the, the transition is happening, and we are working with our clients, uh, all of them. We are the largest supplier of every single major car manufacturer in the United States by a large margin. So we are supporting all of them in that transition. But let, let's face it, at this point in time, the demand is also uh, controlled by uh, traditional, conventional uh, internal combustion engine vehicles. We are the largest on both. So we are benefiting from both sides. What's happening on prices? I think you've been pretty aggressive at raising steel prices. What, what, what do you see happening going forward? Look, we, uh, we, we have a tradition in this business, Sarah, uh, of uh, having car manufacturers imposing prices to, to steel suppliers. Uh, we changed that dynamics here in the United States uh, in the last three years when we were able to acquire both AK Steel and ArcelorMittal USA, and we became the largest supplier. We, are, we have a much more mature relationship with these car manufacturers today. They understand that we need to uh, uh, produce returns on our investment. Otherwise, they would not have a supplier going for it. So this has translated in higher prices, and we are benefiting from these higher prices. So where is the disappointment today coming from, Lorenzo? The, the stock is down about 6%. Is it in the loss itself? Well, we beat, we beat uh, in revenues, we beat in, in sales, we beat in EBITDA, we beat in, even in EPS, even though it was a loss, it was a loss that was a lot smaller than the anticipated loss. We built inventories in Q1 uh, on higher prices. So all this cash flow will start coming in in Q2. We are anticipating that repayment to the order of more than a billion dollars going forward. So we are in fantastic shape. Uh, so the, the only answer I can give to you about why prices are going, uh, stock prices are going down today uh, is simple. I don't know. What I do know is that in a couple of days when the window opens, I, I will be buying stock myself because this stock is on sale.